All right, so I just got a question. Uh, I just showed something to chat on my stream deck, and I'm going to do a video in the main channel showing you guys everything that's on my stream deck. But one of the buttons I have, just as a teaser for that video, you see this little fan icon here? So this is actually a folder in my stream deck, and if I go into that, I have three fan icons. And basically, all of these are for controlling the actual speed of my PC fans. So... Uh, I have like three different fan profiles, so if I just want to go full blast, I can make my fans go full speed. And if I want to turn them off so my PC is silent, I have a button to make my PC silent and uh, I have an auto fan curve here. So uh, yeah, people have been wondering how I actually control my fan speeds on my PC from my stream deck and the solution. Okay, um, and I wish I could actually show you. I'm not... Do you guys want me to set up a camera to prove that I can control the fan speeds on my PC? Here, I'm gonna do it, okay? For the sake of the YouTube video, I will actually prove that the fan speeds work, okay? So we're live, we're gonna pull out my, pho my phone and record my PC. <laughs> so you guys can see it. Um, I probably should have cut this for the video, but I'm... This video is unedited, homie. That's what this VOD channel is all about. Okay, so let me just pull out the camera on my phone. Okay. All right, here we go. Sorry. Let me rotate that. Okay. All right, can you guys see my fan there? Can you guys see my fans? my pc fans it's hard to tell that they're actually moving all right shit they're red okay forgot the color okay you see the fans moving so on my stream deck i'm gonna push this button that says silent okay all right you see here i got a button on my stream deck i'm gonna physically push it so you can see okay this one that says silent, I'm going to press it. And then go back here. And then the PC fans should turn off. Hopefully my PC doesn't overheat. <laughs> there you go. Fans turned off. See them slowing down. They should turn off completely. It's cool, right? I'm going to push the button again. And then they should turn full speed. Isn't that freaking cool? <laughs> Isn't that dope? So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I actually did that. So the solution is I discovered a pro program called Fan Control. And if you're into PC building, this is uh, fairly new. Um, but it's very it's become very popular and an easy way to control all of your uh, control, your fan speeds. I'm not going to show you how to use this program. But uh, if you want to know how to use it, I'm pretty sure Jay's Two Cents did a video on fan, the fan control program. Um, yeah, you can watch this video here. Jay's Two Cents shows you how to like use the program. But essentially, it's it's a program that you just keep on your PC, uh, and you can set up like the fan speeds for all the fans in your computer, and you can save them to profiles. So if I go load configuration here, I have a whole bunch of different uh, profiles that I have for fan speeds. So you can see this one is silent. This one is main. Uh, no, the ones I use are full speed. So this just kicks up all the fans to full speed on my computer. Uh, this one is my silent profile. And then this is the my general usage one. Uh, it has a fan curve. So like if my pc is not doing a lot it's quiet if it does more it kicks up the you know what i mean you guys know how that works if you ever built a pc you know what i'm talking about anyway um so i have like different profiles here and what's really cool about this program is um if you and i don't remember how to do it <laughs> i don't remember how to do it okay so let me just launch the fan control program okay Where's the folder? Where's that folder at? So here's where the program is. Where does it say fan control? 
Oh yeah, fancontrol.exe. So this is how you launch the program. However, uh, if you know anything about launch parameters, like properties, you can like create a shortcut and you can add like, uh, let's just, I'll just do one. I'm going to show you like start to finish basically. So I'm taking a while. So if you like make a shortcut, you can actually add uh, some parameters at the end of the shortcut to choose which profile to actually load. So C is for config, and then you just put in the name of the profile that you want to launch. So this auto.json just matches the name of the config that you see here. So you just type in the name of the profile you want to launch, and that should change it. So what I did, right, is I used... Um, there's, there's a plugin for Stream Deck called Advanced advanced launcher so i installed this right and so what i did is i added an advanced launcher button onto my stream deck right but what's cool is i just selected the fan control exe file right you can see i just selected fan control exe but i added in in this arguments box like the launch parameters so that's where i put in like the profile that i want to launch and I just did that for each profile. So like, there's my auto profile. Here's my full speed profile. Here's my silent profile. And I just made different buttons for them. And then I put some cool icons that I have for my stream deck. So they all look cool. Uh, and that's it. So I have three separate buttons for three se separate fan speeds on my PC. Let me just demonstrate that once more. So let me, let me open my phone. All right, I'll show you my PC. You can see. Fans are moving. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, it's frozen. Anyway, you guys get the point. I don't, I can't. I'm going to show you again. But uh, yeah, I think you guys get the point. So that's it. That's how you control uh, fans from a stream deck. Uh, thanks. Give me money now on Patreon and other ways that you can give me money. Thanks.